Diameter is one of the most common measurements that we take in forestry. We want to spend a few minutes just going about how you measure the diameter of a tree. Now, first thing, we have to decide where we're going to measure that diameter at. Now, with a tree like this, it's a, the saw timber sized tree, we could certainly measure the upper stem diameter, and that is done by foresters. But typically, when we talk about tree diameter, we're talking about the diameter at breast height. Uh, that's a point 4.5 foot off the ground uh, measured from the uphill side. And this tree is on a slight incline here. I'm going to back up, and uh, now I'm on the uphill side here. So we would typically measure out that 4.5 foot from the uphill side of the tree, which would be right here. Most foresters will know where that 4.5 foot is uh, on their chest so they can easily define that point. So we're going to measure that tree uh, at this location. Now, there are several reasons what, that we want to measure diameter, and it can be used for a number of different things. Um, it can be used, uh, for example, to determine the volume of the tree, and diameter is an important component of that. Uh, you can go out and re-measure your trees periodically, every two, three, five years, and you can see how much they're growing. Um, and, and so we use it to monitor tree growth, and ultimately we use a diameter to help us make management decisions. Uh, let's show some common ways that we measure the diameter of trees. Now, foresters, uh, an old time way of doing this is using a tree caliper. Now, you don't see this much in use right now, uh, but these were used uh, a long time ago and they're particularly good for use to, uh, for logs in some situations. And, and the way that works is you hold the, uh, the, hold the caliper up here and slide it in to where it uh, touches the tree on either side and, and you can read uh, the diameter of the tree directly from uh, this. And so you can get a good idea what that diameter is. Now, trees uh, generally are circular in cross section, but oftentimes they may grow lopsided or uneven. And so there might be a, uh, 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 an axis to them that's, that's one is narrow and one is, is wider. So in that case, if you knew your tree was, did have some lopsidedness to it, you would measure it uh, once in its longest position and then come around and, uh, and, and measure once in its shortest position. And you would take the average of those two measurements to get your diameter. So diameter and uh, uh, calipers like this are not used uh, that often. Uh, these days, you will see foresters uh, commonly use what we call a diameter tape or a D-tape. And this is a tape that we're going to wrap around the tree, and a lot of these come with a little hook on, on one side of it so you, can, so you can hook it in the tree. And I'm going to do this here and walk around the tree and position this. So you're going to position this at four and a half foot off the tree. Come around the tree. Try to keep the tape level. Okay. And, and this, you can take this tape right here and read right off of this tape, it says 18 right here, and read right off of this tape, and that's the diameter of this tree, 18 inches in diameter at four and a half foot. So you will see D tapes, or diameter tapes, in common use by foresters. Now, um, if you don't have a diameter tape, you don't have a tree caliper, uh, there are other ways that you can get your diameter uh, of a tree, and I want to show you those uh, here. One thing that you can do is to take a string, for example, and wrap it around the tree um, like this, and I'll reach around. Okay, here's the end of my string, and I'll pull my string around here like this, and where they touch is right here, and I'll grab a hold of that string right there, okay? Now when I unfurl this, Obviously, this length of the string corresponds to the circumference of the tree. And so if you want to know the diameter, you can measure the length of the string, which would be your circumference, okay, and divide it by pi, 3.14, and you can get the diameter. So even if you don't have a diameter tape, you can use something like a string or rope and, and run it around your tree uh, and, and be able to measure the circumference of it and mathematically calculate the diameter. So even if you don't have a D-tape or a tree caliper and those kind of fancy things, everybody has a string and you can use that. Now one of the most common ways we have of measuring trees and even landowners, woodland owners can get a hold of one of these pretty easy um, and that is uh, what we call a tree scale stick. Now you can't buy these at the local hardware store but you can uh, order them very cheaply through some forestry supply um, 
shops that, that have these and, and your local forester would know how to, how to help you get a hold of one of these. And this stick uh, has a, uh, a scale on it that allows you to measure the diameter of the tree. And you can see that right here. It says diameter of tree in inches. And you can see it starts with 10 uh, and then goes on up all the way to 40 inches. Now foresters will use a stick like this as well, and you may see some of them using this. Might look a little different, but the concept's the same. So the way this works is um, we're, gonna, we're gonna hold this stick uh, 25 inches from our eye. Now foresters know exactly where that is. You can measure it yourself. For me, I have to bend my elbow just a little bit to get that 25 inches. So I'm gonna hold this stick 25 inches perpendicular to my line of sight. Now to measure the diameter of the tree, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this stick up against the tree like this. I'm going to hold it right in the middle and I'm going to adjust or move and I'm going to hold my head steady, hold it 25 inches from me and I'm going to stare straight at the middle of the tree and I'm going to glance over to one side, in this case the zero end of my stick, and I'm going to move that stick until visually I can align it with the edge of the tree, which I'm doing now. Now, once I have it aligned this way, so it's visually on the edge of my edge of my tree right here, I will glance over and read uh, the point on this scale where I see the other, other edge of my tree. So I've got a triangle going on from, from my eyes right here to this tree. And when I read this right now, I've got slightly over, right at 18, maybe just a, a tenth over. So using this tree scale stick visually is a very quick way of getting uh, tree diameter. And, and it's a method that we commonly recommend for uh, if you're wanting to get a general uh, idea of the, of the size of your trees in, in your woods, you can use a tree scale stick to do that very quickly. Very accurate tree measures, if you're wanting to remeasure a tree every two or three or five years to determine growth, you probably use, need to use a diameter tape like, like we talked about earlier. But so these are some easy ways that, that anybody uh, can measure trees, uh, the diameter trees, and that's one of the most common measurements and important measurements we take in forestry.